God says that salvation is is closer to us than we first believed. It is closer. That means there is no time for sleep again. Jesus, there is there is a generation tied to my neck, and I cannot win this battle by sleeping eight hours every day in the night. I cannot win this. So that is why you turn everywhere in your house to prayer altars. Your room is a prayer altar. You're in the toilet. You're praying. You are on the road. You are praying. Every where you are praying you are contacting power you may not know what you are speaking but you i believe me you are contacting power even if you are so weak just just tell tell yourself that there is a generation that is waiting for my manifestation and then with that strength you wake up if you say that my time lord it is 1 p.m it, sorry it is 1 a.m it is 2 a.m in, in, in the midnight for me to pray lord holy spirit please help me you cannot do anything without the holy i taught you this before you have to ask him for help and then you see you don't even need your alarm to ring by 12.59 you are up and then I see dead prayer altars begin to awaken I see dead spiritual eyes begin to awaken and then he said to Ezekiel can these bones live again there is a possibility for your dead prayer life to awaken tonight. I told you that, that God had so much for us tonight. And I thank God for the people that are online. <laughs> He's visiting you with prayer force. Not prayer force to pray and miss or to pray, Lord, make me a, a revivalist. I'm not saying all these are bad. I taught my people um, in the evangelism team to pray for power. Yes, it is a right prayer. But not just every time, is Lord help me to grow so that you are using god and god cannot be mocked whatever a man so it you find time and pray lord enlarge my spirit i want to get intimate with you that i may know you and the power of your resurrection and the fellowship of your sufferings that i may be confirmed to you even to death prayer gives you stability prayer gives you it gives you strength